Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboy. Today, the 26th of March, the topic uh, for this morning's devotional is God's Principle. God's Principle. Let's pray. Father Lord, once again, we want to appreciate. Thank you. For the breath of life, the opportunity, the privilege to see a brand new day. That God, as we go into your word, will pray that you minister unto us afresh in the name of Jesus. That God give us the grace to be the doer of your word. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God's principle. God lives by principles. And he expects us to also uh, respect those principles. He's a covenant-keeping God. There are two sides of the covenant. God is a faithful God. He never changed. He abides by his word. We also must also abide and keep to our own terms of that relationship. And most of the time, one of the reasons why we don't see the end of God, we don't see the move of God, we don't see the manifestation of God, we uh, lay hold on God's promises, and but we don't see them in life because we've not abided, we've not kept our own side of the bargain. Of the bargain. But I want us to know, that God is still is still interested in uh, fulfilling those promises in our life, and today God is speaking to us to abide by His principle, to heed to those principles. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Gal Galatians chapter six verse seven. Galatians chapter six verse seven reads, and I quote: "That be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For whatsoever a man soweth." That shall he also reap. God has principles, and even he abides by them. For example, his principle is that for the cleansing of sin, there must be shedding of unpolluted blood. So when the blood of animals was not enough to take away sins, he did not change that principle. Rather, he sent his own son, which was a great sacrifice, who was completely unpolluted, to shed his blood for our sins. This is why I wonder how people do things contrary to the principles of God, yet expect good results. If God in his sovereignty abides by his own principles, then we ought also to abide by it. God has his promises. He ha for every promise, for every blessing, there are some requirements, there are some uh, things that we must abide to. He said, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. God wants us to eat the good of the land. But are you obedient to his way? Are you willing? Are you, are, are you submissive to him? So there are conditions that need to be fulfilled. There are responsibilities that we need to actually uh, uh, follow. And as believers, you might be praying because you might be praying day in, day night, but if you don't fulfill, if you don't live by those precepts, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sweat, so shall he reap. One of his principles is that if you don't walk, you will not eat. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. So when a lazy fellow is asking for a breakthrough, I wonder if he expects God to just drop the money into his lap. If you want to be wealthy, then you have to be willing to walk and work hard. You must put that. You must put in an effort. If God is trying to multiply your effort, is give is trying to uh, 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 multiply your effort, but you are putting in little nothing. Zero times hundred will amount to zero. But if you put in an effort, two times hundred will give you two hundred. So God wants to multiply by a factor, the God factor. But the input. You are putting into it will also determine the results if you are putting nothing there is no way the blessings of god will multiply uh, uh, no input another principle of wealth that god has laid down and his principle is the principle of giving god wants us to give 
seed time and harvest time shall not be so if you sow you if you seed time does not like you if the, the seed time uh, is if there is no want of seed time in your life definitely there won't be a want of and harvest time and god in his word said approve me now whether I will not open the heavens over your head. He said, prove me. So these are the principles. If we heed to those principles, if you heed to those principles, you begin to see God uh, works in your life. God's principles are universal. Whoever obeys them will reap the fruit. The reason many Christians are still in poverty is simply because they do not give. Luke chapter 6 verse 13 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Is an instruction. Give. And I am saying that it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure, for with the same measure you met with her, it shall be measured unto you. For with the same measure you met, it shall be measured unto you. One general principle of God is that whatsoever you sow is what you will reap. This means that if you want kindness, sow kindness to others. If you want help, help others. There are so many prayers that will not be answered until we begin to walk in line with God's principle. His word is yea and amen. You cannot use prayer to cajole him into going against his word. Do the right thing. This is an instruction. This is a word that God wants us to eat to. Do the right thing. Eat to his instruction. It too is a principle. God will not violate his word. God will not violate his principle. And if you want the blessings of God over your life, then there are things we need to do. There are actions we need to take. And as we take these actions, I believe that God will multiply his grace, his blessing over your life. And you begin to see the manifestation, the fruits of this in the name of Jesus. The key point for this morning's devotional is when you want something from God, Check what is what says about it, then obey it. God will not violate his word. He will eat to his word. He said, uh, if you want God to do something in your life, check what his word says about it, then obey it. And as we eat and obey his word and follow his precepts and follow his principles, God will transform your situation and he will magnify that uh, the blessings that we are about to experience will be magnified. God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. I hope you are blessed by today's devotional. Let's just say a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you once again for the word which you've given unto us, for the seed you sowed into our life today. That God, as we look into your word, that God will pray. to As we look and we eat to your word, we'll pray. Give us the grace to follow those principles, to follow those instructions, and to abide by uh, our own side of the covenant in the name of Jesus. And as we eat and as we abide uh, to your instruction, that God will pray. The blessings, the corresponding blessings shall be asked in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I hope you are blessed by today's devotional. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.